Wakurugenzi kawaida tukianza headline hitters huaga tunaanza gana ma, ma co- coincidence funny funny zime happen maeneo jamaa kan challenge akaniuliza wewe kuna vitu funny zimekufanyikia ma coincidence coincidence nikamwambia oh yes oh yes wacheni niwaambie moja so in 2005 nili meet business partner wangu anaitwa Philip Karanja pale Kenya Institute of Mass Communication prior to that sikuwa namjua we met there hapo shule ndo tulikutana tuka kwa mabeshte tukaanzisha kampuni pamoja then in 2015 no 2016 nika meet uh, tuka meet now our other business partner anaitwa Robert Murethi aka Bob prior to 2013 sikuwa najua Bob like hata Philip akuwa namjua tulikutana tu kwa hizi sera zetu za kazi so 2017 after tume run kampuni for one year tukaenda place fulani tukapiga picha na tukai upload kwa mtandao. Ha. This photo inapata attention ya jamaa anaitwa um, Leonard Mbogwa. Leonard Mbogwa anaona hiyo picha ana cheesy. Maze ana ni call maze ananiambia Beli. What? Hiyo picha umeekelea kwa mtandao? Ah bro, hii hii ni magic. Nashindwa what? Ni nini? What's happening? Akaniambia guess what bunda? Hiyo picha umepost kwa watu watatu wewe fi, uh, jamaa moja na jamaa mwingine eh wacha tuanze wewe nilisoma na wewe shule inaitwa East End Junior Academy unakumbuka eh ulikuwa deskmate wangu class 6 nimedanganya hujadanganya very good that other person on that photo anaitwa Philip Karanja nimedanganya nimesema ukweli eh umesema ukweli believe it or not Philip Karanja and I went to school Dago na we were deskmates Ah nikamwambia Leonard watch up chezo small world akaambia bado tulia sijamaliza the third guy in that photo anaitwa Robert Murethi eh hey. hmm Robert Murethi tulikuwa roommates kwa hostel in university where Malaysia see Nairobi uni sike you Malaysia what are the odds Ah, hiyo kitu ile ni bamba. Yaani sijai fry hivyo. Everywhere me we enda mpaka leo nikikutana na mtu mgeni, lazima nimpigie hiyo story. In fact leo nimekutana na watu wageni hapa wenye hii mkahawa inaitwa Brown Vibe. Nataka niwapigie hiyo story tena juu na feel sijai sema enough. Yeah, I must say it again. Again, as nawaambia, we species, anza hii kitu tuanza kazi in the meantime. Nani? Nimekuambia story ya watu tulisoma nao, wacha nikuambie. Nao tukiwa shule Kurugenzi <laughs> My man headline hitters season ya tatu hiyo mamanze ah tunasonga kusonga wadao na mnajua kama kawa bana mkiona mkurugenzi in the building you just know he's got some cranberry juice Mm-mm-mm. wadao story yangu leo inanipeleka tarehe 19 mwezi wa Disemba mwaka wa 1997 na kupeleka uh, maskan pale Asia inaitwa Jakarta Indonesia kuna ndege iko pale aina ya Boeing 737 inasukumwa na kampuni inaitwa Silk Air Silk Air ni subsidiary ya the national carrier ya Singapore Singapore Airlines wako na kajambo jet car hapo wanaitaga Silk Air Napiga gatu hizo ma short ranges. Ah kutoka hapa tuende Jakarta pale. Unajua vitu za 80 minutes, 1 hour 20. Yeah. Short short flights. So pale ndani bana kuna captain pale anaitwa Suwening. Eh tunaweza sema ni kijana. 41 years ni kijana. Okay si kijana ni middle age. 41 years hapo. Former Air Force pilot. Alikuwa na skuma ndege anaitwa Skyhawk hiyo time. Ah uh, sasa sasa hii ame, ame retire pale kwa Air Force ameingia wapi commercial ana skuma 737 pale. Ako na kijana pale, eh, co-pilot, first officer anaitwa Ward. Ward ni kijana mdogo sana wa 23 years. Kijana ametoka country inaitwa nini ile? Ile ya watu wa rugby. Inaitwa nini madi hiyo country? No, si Fiji. All black, all blacks. All blacks wanaitwaje? 
New Zealand. New Zealand. Yes. Ametoka kule. Eh, hey, very talented young chap, 23 years. Oh, ni mtu bana akona his whole life ahead of him. Ako tu sawa. Pale nyuma wako na takriban passengers 97. Na crew members wa saba. Total 104. So ni ndege ime park vizuri iko sawa sawa. Au anangojea take off clearance pale. Au ana pressure. Kidogo kidogo maze ATC wana communicate wanaambia ni aje watu yangu mnataka kuzidi mnaweza zidi nyinyi changamkeni mkifika kule juu chezeni flight uh, level 3000 35000 kwa uh, 5000 feet uko sawa wewe zidi eh, salimia na Singapore ukifika sawa twende kazi so majamaa wana line up pale kwa runway teke teke take off the first 15 20 minutes iko sawa kabisa like uh, wana gather altitude pole pole bado hajafika cruising level but wanapanda tu pole pole wanapiga story hapa eh, su wei ming captain hapo na first officer ward wanaongea maisha inawabamba from the conversation unaweza tell ama raia wako tu sawa kuna pressure eh, mambo iko safi wanapiga hapo kama 33000 feet eh, ward anasema ni aje tuki level hii kitu sinaweza ingia hapa nitafutia hata kachai nini nigonge tuko na 80 minutes kabla tufike wapi eh, Singapore anaambiwa ina noma so anategea inagonga 35000 feet ikisha fika cruising altitude ward anafungua belt pale anatoka anaenda kutafuta chai now before jamaa wafike cruising altitude belt tolewe kuna kitu captain alifanya eh, ile cockpit voice recorder unajua kwa, kwa cockpit pale mbele kuna kuna voice recorder so hizi vitu zote wanaongea zinasikika zinarekodiwa pale right before word atoke captain aka aka disengage your cop, eh, cockpit voice recorder kidogo so sasa high record but hakuna mtu aliona word akatoka akaenda kushughulikia mambo yake word ako pale jikoni anakoroga koroga kahawa ni nini 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 all of a sudden ndege ina take to dive wow. Sasa maze inaanza kuenda chini yani noma woda na shindwa ni nini huko watu wanaanguka equipment na fly all over the place akajaribu akaenda mpaka kwa cockpit mlango na gonga gonga maze ni aje fungua bana ni nini kuna noma maze pam ikakuwa ni, ni noma pale kwa ATC air traffic control wanaangalia kwa machines wanaona ndio hiyo eh, 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 silk air iko sawa iko kwa hewa all of a sudden inaanza tu kuteka dive maze ina, ina dive tu wanashindwa ai form ni gani jo wana try ku reach mazee silk air ni aje tunaona vitu hapa kwa mashini mko sawa hakuna response na kama kidogo kidogo shap ikapotea kwa radar na ikanyamaza so pale kwa ground mazee wasa wanashindwa eh radar ni gani hii ndege imetoka tu hapa sahii iko fiti hakuna captain hata hajatuongelesha hajatoa kama kuna mangori ngori anasikia all of a sudden ime disappear off the radar lazima kukwe kuna ngo kuna ngori haya Taka tukule pause hapo kitogo tu kitogo tu tukule rewind selector to like a week before history yote happen there's another pilot ako pale in fact any first officer hata sio hajafika level ya captain bado but kuna vitu zinamkwaza deadly ameenda mpaka kwa management anamwambia maze hey kuna huyu captain wetu su wei ming ai sijui kuna kitu ni kama iko sawa na yeye kwa nini ai anafanya vitu mazee design nyingine mazee sielewi juzi ame attempt ku land mazee ako too high speed mazee too fast hakuna vile angeland hiyo kitu namwambia mazee wezi land piga turn around pale zunguka tena come for a proper landing anadai hapana mimi ndatoboa anaanza kufanya fanya ndege hivi is slow down ati ndio akuje fit tunashindwa kwani ndege ni tuk tuk una like bra Vitu kama hizo zinanikwaza. Kidogo kidogo tunaongea akiwa tu tukiwa airborne anazima cockpit voice recorder. Nashindwa kwa nini unazima vitu kama hizi? So hizi vitu mimi zinanisumbua. So nimekuja hapa kama management niwaambie mazee ikifika ni mahali tunacheza cheza na maisha ya watu, mimi sidani nataka kuwa game. So nataka tu nipige resignation yangu safi sababu huyu jamaa ni kama mnamsikiza sana, mimi wacha nizidi. So jamaa ka resign na akaenda. This is one week before history yote ina happen from Jakarta. So come back to this day maze. Flight imepotea kwa radar. Wasea wajui ni nini inaendelea. Hakuna information. Kwa ground kuna river pale. Nimesa how jina hiyo river twende pale ingia kwa comments niambie hiyo river inaitwa nini. Fishermen wako hapo wanavua tu vitu zao pale. All of a sudden maze wanasikia tu maze kitu inakuja maze. Fia, mpaka ndani ya maji street 
I was working, and then the plane came from that side. It made a sound like ra, and then it made a U-turn to that side, and crashed into the river with a big boom and a water splash. Yo, unaza imagine mazee uko kwa review na piga fishing alafu a whole 737 inatoka tu kwa sky ina kama inaingia tu kwa review. Wa! So wakapiga piga mariporti hapo haraka haraka ni aje eh hey, kuna ndege imeingia kwa maji mazee sijui form ni gani. So of course authorities wametuma kila kitu hapo fire brigade, makarao, scouts and girl guides where, where as long as uko na skill yote wewe ingia pale. So wamekuja pale kwa rive mazee wameanza kuangalia design ya ku try kuangalia ni nini iko hapo ndani wamesukuma ma camera zuko chini wana discover mazee a whole aircraft has been reduced to pieces noma imegonga chini na design nyingine ngori sana so of course mazee the whole country inashindwa ni nini hiyo imefanya mazee ndege ika yani ikiwa tu sawa imeenda tu ikaanguka kwa rive for no reason so Mazee investigation zikaanza wadau. Wanapiga investigation na investigation ilikuwa ni tricky sana sababu gani? Mazee una imagine the biggest piece kwa hiyo wreckage inatoshana na isimu. By the time wa piece hizi nini zote zitoshana na hiyo 737 ndio waende wakiangalia kila component. Hii inaweza kuwa ilikuwa na malfunction ama ni hii ama ni hii. My friend it took months wakitrajua ku reconstruct hii kitu mazee wakitrajua kuangalia mazee wapi ndio kunaweza kuwa na fault. Ni mashini gani ilikataa? Inaweza kuwa mazee maintenance wali angusha ball mahali mazee ikatu cost. Yaani ilikuwa imewachachia deadly. But as the investigation inaendelea na inafanywa na the Singaporeans wako na board actually it's a committee in the national transport um, and safety commission it's a commission as ntsc wanafanya mambo yao america wameleta yao inaitwa ntsb national transport and safety board why america wako hapa ni sababu ndege yao ndio imeanguka boeing unajua is an american aircraft so kitu yote iki happen lazima walete mbogi hapa wajue ni nini ime happen ya boeing na ni nini tunaweza fanya maze 737 nyingine isianguke hii design So NTSB wako hapo mazee wana kama wana cheki cheki mambo one of their best investigators mazee akaangalia hizo pieces akaambia wase wake man 737 si zimeanguka kadhaa sijawahi ona ndege inaanguka live alone ndani ya maji kwa ground hivi na ina disintegrate le, the biggest piece inatoshana hivi hiyo hiyo i have never seen ndege zao anguka kwa ground lakini bado unapata wreckage ni chunks feet like hata tunaweza enda kwa lab mfanye nazo mambo nini hii yenye inaanguka inaisha hii design mazee nataka sana kujua ni nini ili happen hapa so wanaanza process ni tour dredging so unajua most of these river chini ni matope so mazee wako na equipment flani zinaitwa dredgers wana sink ndani ya river inachota hiyo matope yote ikiinuka eh, ina sieve hiyo matope inabakisha wreckage inaenda ina pack your place wakajaribu wakajaribu i think after like 10 15 days wakapata ile cockpit voice recorder number one clue ile iko na circuit breaker hiyo kitu na hiyo circuit breaker kuna design lazima we toy we mwenyewe manually ndio yache ku record like hata ikifail waga haijitoi kuna equipment zingine zikifail circuit breaker waga ina, ina pop this one haija designiwa hivyo Like ukipata ime pop inamaanisha ni msee aliifanya manually ali pop hiyo kitu ndio ikaacha kufanya kazi. So hiyo ilikuwa clue number one. Kwa nini mazee cockpit voice recorder haifanyi kazi hapa there's something. Uh, ten 10 days later again wakapata kitu inaitwa CVR. Ah no inaitwa FDR flight data recorder. So anything unafanya na hii kitu kwa ndege ukiongeza altitude ukiongeza speed anything una do waga ina recordiwa kwa hiyo FDR. So wanaweza tell u pilot alikuwa na fly kitu aje through your FDR again wanaanza ku notice ai hapana kuna place tu ilifika maze engines zikaenda full throttle maze yani anacheza na thrusting ile iko juu deadly uh, plane ime kula ime bank one side all of a sudden na wana try kuangalia maze hapana hii si malfunction hapa hapa lazima kuna kitu hebu tu duini hivi kabla hata tuendelee tu kutafuta mambo kwa wreckage na nina nini hebu tukule ni pause hapo wacha tucheki tu pilots ah pilots ni kina nani lifestyle zao zilikuwa gani nini nini so maze kwa hiyo process ya ku investigate pilots ndio hawa sewa America wa NTSB wana discover there was a, an employee alienda kwa ofisi kule akasema maze kuna huu captain anaitwa Su Wei Ming maze mimi simuoni fiti 
mara tuko huko juu ana fumble na equipment hapa na si ati ni kubahatisha na bahatisha he is a very talented pilot ni deadly like huko kwa air force alikuwa na shine deadly so si ati ni equipment inamchachia no ni ni ako na tu ka ujeuri fulani yenye atujui ni nini na wakapata wao employee alicomplain na in fact aka resign sababu ya suwe ming so maze wakaweka investigation hapo sasa who suwe ming maze rada yake ni gani form yake ni gani eh wana kama wanagundua maze suwe ming ni mse anapiga ngai hizi ma stock trading jo kumbe kuna design mnaweza ingia kwa deni na stock trading watu wa stocks mtusaidie hapa unaweza ingia kwa deni na hizo vitu apparently alikuwa na deni ya over 100,000 dollars maze jo story ya stock trading haya kidogo kidogo maze yako na mortgage anafaa lipie yeah, i think uh, it was it a million dollars ama ni 100,000 dollars siko sure ni pesa tu ridiculous then wana discover maze kuna ka life insurance alikuwa amechukua eh hey, inafaa maze eh isi kuwa me crash ndio sasa inakuwa effective like anything iki happen between now na eternity wewe unakula pesa na ilikuwa pesa mzuri i think ilikuwa like a million dollars or something eh hey, so hasa wakaanza kujiita meeting wakajiuliza maze inaweza kuwa suwe ming alipiga hesabu watu akaona maze nimeblanda hapa kwa maana nini niko na debt nimechukua ma mortgage zinanishinda na since sitaki kuacha family yangu kwa ngori na niko na insurance sinaweza jipeana ndio wase wangu walipoido wapone so watu wakaanza kuona nao hii kitu sio mechanical fault no 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 no, no. wakaenda back to the uh, flight data recorder wakaanza kuanalyze vizuri kabisa yani after like a week or so wakaweza ku paint a very good picture of what exactly happened on that day uh, in December 19th December uh, 1997 so immediately hawa so wamegonga maze cruising altitude wamefika 35000 feet Woda hapa akasema ni aje Buddha si uta control wacha mimi niingie nipige kahawa sasawa all this time so we mean captain alikuwa tu kwa kiti yake anajiuliza maze naweza jipeana namna gani huu fala akiwa hapa itakuwa tricky jua kiona nikipiga manuva itakuwa blanda hata ni counter so all this time he was waiting for that opportune moment wakati huu jamaa atajitoa tu hata kama ni dakika moja ndio actualize na prayer zake zilikuwa answered maze Ward akaamua anataka kwenda kuchukua kahawa, akatoa belt, akatoka kwa kiti yake, akatoka, akaishia. Cockpit ime design in such a way, nikitoka kwa cockpit nifunge hiyo mlango, siwezi ifungua from outside. Hiyo lazima wewe kama captain ucheze ila na button hapa ama mke ufungue manually ni kama niingie. So hapo Sue Ming alikuwa sure hapa mambo yangu iko sawa. So immediately Ward alitoka tu hivi akaingia pale kitchen kuchukua mambo zake. Jamaa akaamua ku actualize aka bank aka role plane maze design moja very serious then aka piga nose down quick fast so sasa maze nose imeenda chini design flani sasa ndege hata sasa imeanza kuwa upside down na ameipiga full throttle sasa anakuja deadly yani hiyo ni kuituma kuituma yani hiyo speed ilikuwa so deadly parts of the planes zilianza tu kudisintegrate kwa hewa hata before a touchdown maze na wao jamaa ali maintain hiyo ni kitu kingine maze ingekuwa blanda maze ingekuwa maybe ilifanya hivyo alafu waka try kuirudisha but uh, hii flight data recorder inasema hiyo hiyo place hiyo hiyo design alikuwa ameshikilia hiyo york ali maintain until the last moment wakati hiyo ndege il touchdown kwa river So maze after months and months maze is investigations ka, waka kama wakapata maze cause ya hii kitu maze ilikuwa pilot suicide. Yaani Suwei Ming ngori zake za maisha aliona ni big design watu 103 hawafai kuishi. Among them kulikuwa na a 2 year old na kulikuwa na 70 something year old maze. Yaani akaamua kusukuma wase wote kwa rive sababu tu madeni kidogo jo zilimkosesha usingizi man. Of course maze story kalipukia the employers ju yo kama kuna other employees wana kama wana report wanasema maze suwe iming amekuwa kibehave funny mbona bado mnaendelea kupatia umse squadi in fact nasikia kuna hata wachana na huyo employee nasikia kuna mangori pia ashaifanya kitambo akiwa flight instructor mkamtoa hapo badala mupeleke mtu hata psychiatric help angaliwe maze nyimu namtoa mnampatia tu ndege nyingine ikakuwa ni noma so hapo Singapore Airlines wakaingia kwa ngori juu ya story 
of course mazee unaweza tell two family za wasee pale walikuwa walikuwa mbaya kulikuwa na nationalities kadhaa but of course the singaporeans ndio walikuwa wengi pale yeah mazee wakapoteza 104 people so state ka organize mazee ki burial pale haraka haraka of course ilikuwa ni symbolic jua kukuwa na like hiyo ndege ilianguka design deadly mpaka wangeza wakota body hata moja so walizika two empty caskets eh hey, mazee na i think today to wado bado na commemorate your siku mazee 19th of december hey no ma man no ma no ma no ma but of course wanasema ga kila accident ki happen lazima the whole world kai chini yangalie okay mbona hiki tu ina happen na nini tunaweza fanya ku counter vitu kaizi so squeeze mazee kawe ni pilot mazee na uanze tu kuonyesha tu signs of erratic behavior my friend unatolewa kwa hiyo cockpit quick fast eh, usifanye kama su weiming bana utume watu 104 for no reason yeah uh, Boeing na NTSB wakapiga investigation yao kuhakikisha kabisa 737 yao haikuwa na problem. Uh, although Singaporeans walikuwa na try kufunika ngori kidogo wakaanza kusema oh kuna rada ilikuwa na shida nini but hiyo yote ilikuwa story. Walikuwa tu na try ku, ku protect country maze. Yeah man na hivyo ndio wase 104 walipotea bana in 1997 the December 19th. It one of the worst aviation accidents in Singapore. Sijui kama kuna ingine ka hiyo ishai happen. Yeah but ilikuwa ilikuwa ni noma man. Na hapo ndo tunafungia mambo yetu bana. Wadao. Eh tuonane next week. Eh kama kama, kama dawa kama imekubamba ita mbogi wakuje washuhudie. Of course mazee ukisikia umeguzwa mahali na unataka kucheza kiwewe. You know what to do cheza na mambo hapo chini. Eh hey, bana wakurugenzi watafry, watafry sana au sio? Na watambua sana wadao. Iwa bambe. Adios muchachos. Peace. Nice. Haya cranberry kuja hapa wewe tujuane wewe you need to know each other. Ni acha bro. Au kwa sawa bro cheka cheka cheka. Uko sawa mtu wangu. Usiwe uspanic. Ni wenye maeneo wanacheka mbaya. Namaliza watu hapa nje. Na wacheka. Na wacheka mbaya sana. Mimi mnanijua bana. Hatari.